Hello everybody and welcome to my 14th Visual Basic 2010 tutorial. And this tutorial is going to show you how to use an if else statement. So it's just a slight advancement on an if statement. Um, it just gives you a little bit more, um, a little bit of an extra uh, control. So I'm just going to create a quick, another quick program that will that ask the uh, the user a question. So if, uh, it's going to ask for um, my age. So uh, let's put my age as a long. Um, dim uh, guess as a long. So I get one variable to store my age and one a variable to store what my guess is. So just to set my age. So my age is. Uh, and if you want to, if you want the game to be really fun, then then ignore this bit. So my age is a. Uh, and guess equals please guess my age um, and then we're going to have to test what they've put as their answer um, first of all we're going to have to make it so it actually asks them so make sure that's an input box um, otherwise it's just trying to put a string into an integer and it's going to go crazy um, so if and we want my age um, and let's go for doesn't equal uh, guess. Then, so this means they've got it wrong. If the, if my age doesn't equal guess, then do this. Um, so, sorry, you got it wrong. And then, rather than our end if, this is where the else is going to come in. So we're going to put else here. And what this does is it gives us another bit of code. Um, that isn't going to run if this runs, but if this doesn't run, it's going to skip to this else one. It's going to run the else. Um, so we're going to put a different message box in here. So this is going to happen when the opposite of this happens. So, congrats, you guessed it. Um, and then that's when we put our end if. So it's essentially given us two blocks. So it's given us a two-way path. Um, so it's going to test if this statement is true. If it's true, it's going to run the first bit. Else, it's going to run the second bit. Um, and then it's just going to carry on with our code underneath. So if we put an another one down here, say message box, say this code will run whatever. Um, so we've just got three, three message box now. This one's always going to run. That one's going to run if they get it wrong. That one's going to run if they get it right. Um, so let's play this now. So play. So you guess my age. Uh, I'm gonna guess 24 for some reason. Uh, congrats, you guessed it. So I got that one right. Um, and then this code will run whatever. Um, so again, let's just show you that, so I can show you me getting it wrong. So guess my age, 13. Sorry, you got it wrong. And then this code will run whatever. Okay, cool. So just to recap, um, we testing whether or not their guess doesn't equal my age if this statement that you put in here true whatever boolean statement you put in there it's going to run this section else it's going to run this section um, and then it's just going to go to the end if and then carry on with the rest of our code uh, so that's it for this tutorial in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how to use uh, nested if statements so thanks for listening and i hope to catch you soon